as mentioned a few minutes ago, crews are getting ready and setting up at Reliance Stadium. Wine and Sebastian Robertson is in Houston watching the developments. Sebastian, the Houston Chronicle is reporting that Governor Perry will be making comments and even reading some scripture. Are you hearing that as well? Uh, we have not heard that. We heard that that may be a, a last minute decision if it does happen, but people are slowly trickling into Reliance Stadium. Today we've talked to people from as far away as Alaska, from Kansas City, and of course from all over Texas. And we got a little sneak peek inside of the stadium and it looks like First of all, it's just massive. They have about three fourths of the stadium open for the public to come fill in and it looks like it's going to be a multimedia event. There's several projector screens, cameras. There's been musicians hauling gear into the stadium. But with all of this is coming a fair amount of controversy. With the event less than a day away, crews are hard at work. Organizers are hoping to fill Reliant Stadium in Houston with thousands, all for a day of fasting and prayer. Right there. Angie Baird is one of the many attending the pre-events. I didn't think I could miss it. Baird and members from her prayer group made the trip from Kansas City. They plan to spend Friday afternoon praying over the venue before the event. I think it's exciting that there's people that are looking to Jesus for answers for our nation and looking for hope that we regain morality and return to the ways of our forefathers. Governor Perry has failed miserably at that task of unification. But many are arguing the forefathers would disagree. He's not pastoring a church called the Lone Star State. Several groups joined forces in protest Friday. He is expected and required to uphold our Constitution and should take care not to muddy the waters, so to speak. By being exclusive, the governor missed a golden opportunity to show true leadership by uniting all of the people of Texas around common concerns for the well-being of America. It's members like Mustafa Carroll, who represent the Council for American Islamic Relations, who don't feel welcome. Leaders from various faiths and the ACLU say a politician has no business calling others to pray to one particular God. I'm disappointed that any governor could conceive and then orchestrate and sponsor an event like this. Governors and indeed all elected officials from mayors of small towns to the President of the United States ought to be respectful of the differences of their constituents and seek inclusion. While they protest, many are continuing their preps. Well aware of the protesters, Baird says it just comes with the territory. I think it's not surprising. I think when you take a stand for Jesus and for something truthful, people are going to be upset. While the event is open to the public and free to attend, Baird will have to wait and see how many will come and take a stand with her. In Houston, Sebastian Robertson, YNN. And the protesters I talked to tell me they have no problem with a day of prayer. Where they have the problem is a politician endorsing a Christian day of prayer. While it is openly Christian, they are making moves to make it apolitical. While we were inside, we saw several signs discouraging people from wearing political t-shirts or uh, t-shirts with religious jargon on them. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, Sebastian. That was Sebastian Robertson reporting from Reliance Stadium in Houston.